somebody specifically my dreamers um in the dreamers marketplace i am happy to be here with you today and so i'm going to be sharing on the topic of being and staying organized because um most mm -hmm. recently i put out a message in the group a question to let persons know that during the course of this week and the next coming weeks for the month of August, mm -hmm. I'm going to be focusing on giving you tips and strategies to be able to achieve your dreams and your purpose. And so today, I'm coming to you live into the group on sharing on the topics of being organized um, as two of our members had requested. So shout out to Floyd Keller and ramona samuels thank you guys for being brave enough to step up and let us know what you need and so um one of the most important things let me just tell you who i am most of you should know already because you're already a member of this group Roseanne reed the dream inspirationalist and i am a lifestyle coach a author motivational speaker and business consultant so i'm sharing with you some tips on being organized in life and in business no in order for you to be successful in achieving your dreams and your goals you must be organized because staying in chaos is only going to allow you to not be able to operate at your full potential i once had an uncle of mine who is well off a grand uncle rather of mine who is well off and i remember him saying to me that once you have your surroundings and your environment clean and organized then your mind is free to be able to focus on the things that you need to focus on to earn wealth to achieve wealth and so what happens is that when there is clutter it also tells you what's going on in your mind because it means that clutter is in your mind as well and so what you need to have is your things organized as much as is possible. I'm not saying that some things may not get messy sometime because, you know, in the rush and the home and drum of life, and especially if you have kids like I do, you know, I like to be very organized. But sometimes the kids, you know, just in their plane, they come and mess up what you have just done. And so you need to have a separate era for your kids to be organized. So the first step I want to say is be in clarity have a clear vision of what you want to achieve if you know you want to accomplish a specific task or achieve a specific goal or let a specific dream happen you have to organize things to make it possible for you to make that dream happen so for example you know you want to get a radio interview or a tv interview but you don't have a five minute or a ten minute speech which let's say five minutes because you probably would not get more than that depending on how long the radio station will give you especially if you are new or it's not an extensive interview just focusing on you on the topic or the book or whatever you're sharing and you need to have um a clear vision an idea of the message that you need to get across so if you need to do that then you need to probably sit down look at the book see what hot topics are there what's the mission of the book what is it that you want to share right no if i didn't have that when i was called upon to interview the books because even though i planned to do interviews i didn't plan it for like right now this minute right um and so the thing is but i knew the message that i wanted to get across on my book and i already had sat down went through it look at it looked at it drawn specific quotes that spoke most to the message that the book is trying to share with the world and so you have to be in clarity who do you serve what do you do and why do you do it where do you want to get and what is it going to take for you to get where you want to get and so if you know that you have children who need to go to school or who go to school but you know that on the summer break they're going to come out from school then you know that you also have some engagements that you need to take care of you want to get some speaking engagement you want to service more clients i'm just using my situation to share with you how i get things structured and you know that you need to put things in place to get somebody to take care of the children for a couple hours so that you can focus on those speaking engagements that you need to prep for or on um, the, 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 the work that you need to do to actually 
coach your clients or consult with the clients or whatever it is so you have to be clear once you're clear about what you do then you start to organize things in the manner that will suit you achieving that goal so you know you want to write a song you start to organize yourself get a space where it's clear where it's silent where you can write where you let it flow if you know you are somebody that writes get a book always have a notebook have the notebook and write when ideas come to you walk with that notebook keep it by your bedside so that you can write right um, and that's one of the tips that I have here in being organized is to write things down yes you have a business yes you offer a service you're a photographer you're a fitness instructor whatever it is you do you have to make a note of the things that are important the things that you want to do even your goals and so being organized um, everybody may think that it's not important but let me just tell you something as simple as writing down your goals specific task that you need to achieve during the course of this week in order for you to get 10 new clients by the end of the week that is being organized right so if you write down the 10 things you need to do I need to get the children registered for school I need to focus on doing this thing for the book I need to do this feature for the book I need to write something to contribute to that lady's blog I need to write an article to contribute to the Huffington Post the article to the Huffington Post is not just gonna come because you sit down and said you wanted it you have to get up and do something towards getting that article in the Huffington Post and then the favor of man or God can come upon you to grant the opportunity that you're trying to get but if you are not organized and didn't start writing and then you know getting it edited know who you want to edit it and all of that then there is no way you could get an article in the Huffington Post there's no way you're gonna lose 10 pounds if you sit down every day saying that I want to lose 10 pounds but yet still you do nothing about it so you write down you want to lose 10 pounds and then you start to put things in place to make sure that you can at least exercise for 30 minutes three days of the week to make sure that you can lose the 10 pounds so write it down always write down what you want to do and let me tell you what writing does it's not just about writing it down for writing it down sake and leaving it there you write it you put it at if you're not somebody that's gonna go and check your book or your journal regularly put it take a post-it note stick it up on your desk like what I have here on my desk I have post-it notes stuck up on my desk um, with some of the things that I want to do I have a book where I write down my things in um, and I also have other different other books for different things that I write down. you don't have to write there you can use your note taking on your phone or whatever but what I find and this is what everybody who is successful has ever said when you are learning from somebody who is great and who has mastered something that you have not yet mastered what you do is right and even other than learning from somebody when you write down something you capture that thing that you want to do and so writing it down is a mode of affirmation of you telling yourself that I am going to achieve this thing and I'm going to put everything in place to make sure that I achieve it so write down so number one was you get clarity about what you want number two was to write down what it is that you want to achieve number three part of being organized is scheduling time time management is a key priority and once you lose time you never get it back and I have a quote that says I will share it in the group today so that you can see it in the feed of this message or maybe just more in the group that um, procrastination is like shredding money and giving it to the garbage collector which has to do also with time because every time you procrastinate on something you're wasting time because if you had just gotten up and started writing that book the opportunities that would have come to you have missed you because you sat down waiting and so you need to organize your time right I know right now what my goal is for my business I know the goal that I have also for my book for the places that I wanted to reach that it has not yet reached and so I looked at the fact that there's these forums I've been invited to this platform I need to send them an email so on my list what well, this was not for today but my list for on the weekend and um, I, I did some emails went through some emails and answered some emails that had um, backed up from the other day and so I wrote down the most important emails that I needed to check and search and respond to in 
order to make myself available now if i didn't do that it would continue into this week and guess what more things came into this week yesterday was emancipation day here in jamaica which is a public holiday here and i already knew from before that i had um a fun day to organize uh, that i organized and coordinated at church and that i would be busy wrapped up from early yesterday morning from even sunday afternoon all day yesterday in that now i organized my time in knowing that i had to do that so everything else that needed to be done before that had to be done from thursday or friday because on the weekend i would not have had the time to deal with that coming into the public holiday and guess what if I didn't do those things that I scheduled to do last week, Thursday and Friday, if I didn't do them then, I couldn't do them today. You know why? Right now, Jamaica is on a tropical storm alert, right? From yesterday, we have been having rain and we're on tropical storm alert that can um, hit the island any minute No, And so the thing is, you have to be organized because in life, Things are going to come. Storms are going to come. Distractions are going to come. Sometimes your children, if you have children, your children are going to get sick. Sometimes you yourself get sick. Um, and, you know, we don't call on sick because we believe and declare and decree that we are always healthy. But sometimes we just don't take care of our bodies. We just don't get enough rest that we need to get. And so we do get sick. We do get burned out. But we didn't take any time to make sure that I took my vitamin, that I drank orange juice instead of soda. Um that I eat healthy instead of eating fries. I had some big potatoes and big chicken. And so you have to organize and schedule the time. I know that my children are gonna be home for the summer holidays. And so I realized that if I want to get any work done on my business, because I'm the main one that looks after them other than when they're at school, sometimes I will hire help. I know that I'm gonna to have to get somebody to come and help out with them for the projects that I had on my table for the summer right um and you know you have to put things in place if you know you have the children you need to you get a babysitter so schedule things look at your day there is so much time we have left and we don't have time to waste right so write down the things that you need to do make a list and so write the list as you just write one big list you just write down everything that you need to write down and then when you write that down you look at that list you evaluate it and look at what is the most important thing in that list how do you determine the most important what do you most need to decide or to happen now is it that you need to purchase a plane ticket right now because you need to go and look for a family member um, or you need to go and get an opportunity which will up level your business or whatever. If you need to book the ticket now and the time is gonna pass for you to book the ticket, then book the ticket now. Put the ticket as booking the ticket as number one on your list, right? If you know you need to do some videos to support your group, and, and you know that that's important in terms of how you're building your business and supporting the world in the values, uh, with the values and in the gift and talent that you have been gifted from God, then you also put that as number two if that is number two for you in your list of importance so don't just write the things down but go through them and prioritize them in order of importance and if you need to um you can probably just put a b or c beside them according to the order of importance a being the most important and then what you do you take that and you either write a new list or you just refer to the list and look and see which one is A and see which one is B. Action A, then action B. And that's simply what um, it is in terms of prioritizing your list. So we need to be clear. We need to write things down and we need to schedule time. If you're somebody like me who is very busy, you are a mom, you're a wife, you're in ministry. Um, you know, you, you have to be at different places doing different interviews. You have to be speaking, whatever it is. I'm very busy and I'm not busy doing nothing. I'm busy giving value to the world in the different areas that I serve. And so I know that I don't have the time to sit down on social media every single day. I don't. And sometimes you guys see me post on social media. Um, I'm not on social media because I've actually used a program called Hootsuite.com to schedule my post on social media. And some of my posts, um, if they're not scheduled, maybe something has gone wrong with the scheduling system. But I, the, the amount of times you see me active on social media, sometimes I will be on, but I don't have the time to sit down on it every day take check in messages and type in everybody but i use it for business so i'll be on it regularly but i schedule posts i use hootsuite and i just set a day and
so just set aside a day when you know you can sit down and schedule your post and just like I sit down and schedule my post which is a part of being organized you need to schedule a day schedule some time if it's gonna take you days to get yourself organized you need to set aside some time to get yourself organized because being organized is a priority if you're gonna be able to live your dreams create your dream lifestyle and achieve your dreams and goals phenomenally so in success right so set aside time now organize your environment right um if you know that you on your desk you use a lot of files get a file tray and organize the files according to what specific specific area you have you know you have bills to pay utilities to pay um you know you have letters that you have gotten in the mail that you need to respond to you know you have emails to send out schedule some time on your calendar to respond to emails you know you have facebook messages to respond to linkedin messages and comments to respond to schedule some time to do that you have clients to follow up with schedule time to do that now organize your space if you have a bookshelf put your books on your bookshelf right um as i said organize your desk put all of your pens in one spot on the desk and when you use something from that particular place put it back where you took it from because we tend to use things and just put it on the closest place some of us that is those who are not organized because now the reason why we're talking about being organized is because and how to stay organized is because some of us have a difficulty um operating in organization and structure and so if you use something put it back where you got it from you use the book close the book and put back the book at the place where it's supposed to be so don't organize you see the thing is when you declutter you know you're also decluttering your mind when you have a filing cabinet or a storage drawer for your markers if you are an artist and you use markers or paint brushes and paint and you have a stored um a storage drawer for your markers and your paints and your pencils put back the markers and the paints and the pencils in the drawer and that way when you next need a marker or a pencil or a paintbrush you know exactly where to find the marker or the pencil or the paintbrush and you go back to that place and take it up because you that's where it stays you organize the drawer for that a storage box or a drawer in your um desk drawer set whatever it is you go back there and you take it out now when you are not organized one of the things that happens is that you actually have to spend time searching through the clutter to find what you need you have 10 papers on top of one another but you need a paper for that bank manager that you're supposed to call and you can't find the, the number for the bank manager because it's written on a piece of paper on a jumble of other papers because all you have is a lot of scribblings all over the place and you can't find the paper and so the time in which you're supposed to call the bank manager is delayed because you're searching through clutter to find that one number whereas if you just had a section at the back of your book where you wrote contact information or if you get a, a schedule or organizer or even your phone where once you got the bank manager's number instead of just having it on a business card you get a business card folder you get or you transfer the phone number from the business card holder to your phone create a contact in your phone put it in your phone there's so many apps and devices that you can use where you can um actually keep yourself organized there is one in the group that somebody shared the other day and i'm going to share back the link in this feed right i think it was work workforce.com or worktoday.com so there's several different apps and online solutions that can help us be organized some of us may use a combination of traditional and non-traditional systems to keep organized which, which is what I do because I love to write I'm a book person and um, for some things I write in my book and I also have some things organized on my computer or something saved on my phone but you have to have a consistent process to stay organized right organization is not just about tidying up the place today tidying the desk today tidying my home today tidying my office today tidying my gym today um, or my work studio today but yet still I tidy it and I came in I drank a cup of juice and I left the juice cup in the gym when you're finished with the juice cup take it up and carry it into the kitchen 
because juice cups belong in the kitchen right if it is that it's your work here and your office and you have a little kitchen and put the cup in the kitchen and sink um and then when it's time for you to deal with the kitchen net or the kitchen duties then that cup will be washed but don't leave it in the office or the gym studio or the area where it doesn't belong because it doesn't belong there because instant you come in there and you see the cup you know the cup is not supposed to be a battle there and if you're even going to tell me that it doesn't matter to you and you ignore it your because your eye has picked it up your mind has registered that the cup is there and the cup doesn't belong there but you keep putting it off because you can't be bothered to take up the cup but guess what if you took up the cup and put the cup in the sink what would happen is that when you next came into that gym room to start working out or to start exercising um you're exercising your mind is not focusing on the cup but your mind is focusing on the other things that you need to think about um which can help you get closer to achieving your dreams and goals one of the things why i love to exercise um even from before i had a family and had children before i was married and all of that when i was young free single and disengaged i used to get up 4 30 in the mornings and go and exercise at a track and guess what um, you may not have a dream room, but whatever it is, even if I'm, you know, if I'm gone somewhere for the weekend, I'm traveling and I'm working out in the gym of the hotel or whatever, whatever it is, wherever you go, when you are there, you need to be in a space of clarity and focus so that the ideas can come to you that will help to up level you up level you to the next level of your success right and so that's what it's about staying organized organization is not about perfection right it's not about being perfect because if you try to be perfect you will spend so much time trying to get it perfect and i don't have a problem against perfection because i'm a perfectionist but with my children and other things in life i've learned that sometimes you can't sit down and wait for perfection because if you sit down and wait to get it peachy perfect you may never do or deliver anything because no situation or circumstance in life is ever is ever perfect um yes it can come out perfect but it's not all the time that you're gonna get it perfect and um that is debatable but that has been my experience in life and i can only share with you from what i experienced and so you try to get it to perfection and high standard first class excellence as much as is possible but if you don't have the resources to do that then don't sit down and wait and waste time because you can't get it perfect because the thing that you have the ability and the capability and the resources to do now may be that thing that gets you to the next level, which may enable you to hire somebody to get that thing done perfect or to get help to get it done perfect. You may not be able to do it in perfection now, right? And so you need to make sure that you keep everything clutter free. Remember that everything you do reflects and registers in your mind and in your subconscious right um whatever space you are acting in that's based on you respond based on the environment that you're in so you know that your life is in transition and that some things need to be put in order and you keep putting it off you know that you're not organized you know that you're not structured but you keep putting it off when you get the money to buy that organized um drawer the file tray to buy the filing cabinet um to to buy a journal or a diary or or a schedule um book when you get that and you get the money to do it instead of buying that you go out and splurge on something that you didn't necessarily need you go and buy a new shoe or a new bag um or for the guys maybe a new shoe or a new shirt maybe not all guys need to shop but you buy that latest exercise gadget or gym gadget right um because you want to look good and i have nothing against looking good or getting new stuff but in order of priority where does making the purchase of that thing come in terms of your staying organized in order to achieve that next goal or that next dream and so the success that have been achieved is just as a result of taking um into context and implementing let me just stress that implementing because a lot of us know what we need to do but we don't implement we just keep putting it off and putting it off and say oh i don't really need that now i can do this now um i can do that tomorrow or i can get mommy to do that or i can get daddy to do that or the helper will do it when she comes in and fine there are some things that the helper need to do but in the space that you are working in in your bedroom in your office 
right if you have a home office or you work in a corporate office whatever it is whenever i am working i always make sure that my space is clean and organized because that's how my mind can focus on the things that i need to focus because guess what you see because i'm a person that don't like things messy i don't like to see things organized i can't take to see clothes piled up in the dirty clothes basket needing to be washed you know what i do i make sure that i do the things that can leave my workspace clutter free as much as is possible right because the fact is i need my mind to be in an environment where it can focus on my dreams my visions my goals the tasks that i need to achieve where i can focus on looking at what this client told me in our complimentary session is her needs what did this particular potential client reach out to me on um, social media and say that they need help with looking at my repertoire of um of, of tips and strategies and talents that I can share with that potential client or with that person who needs help to help them to get further ahead on their journey. No, my mind needs to be clear because if I'm here and my office is full of clutter and I'm looking at my decks, I'm there saying, oh my goodness, my decks needs to be tidied. I need to take up the book. I need to take up the eraser. I need to take up the phone. Um, I need to clean the windows. I'm looking. I know that my office needs to be clean. The windows need to be clean, but I keep putting it up. I have a hat. If I don't, if I don't clean well, but I, I clean well, but if you don't clean well, hire somebody to clean it. Stop putting it off. Pay the money, schedule the person and let the person come in and clean. If you know you need to create some Facebook memes, you need to get a website created for your business. Stop talking about, I'm going to get it done. Okay, I'll do this tomorrow, I'll do this tomorrow. Hello, get something done. Everything that I have achieved until this point has just been as a result of taking steps, organizing, writing down what I need to do, scheduling time to make sure that it is done, right? Yes, maybe sometimes you'll schedule and maybe you don't get to do everything as you plan to do it, but guess what? Because I have planned it and I've written it down and I've scheduled the time, it gets attention. And so something gets done. And even if I don't get everything done today for what I schedule, it can be finished up the next day depending on what it is or if it's a deadline you have to meet or whatever. Some things, if, if it's not a deadline that you have to meet, then you can put it up. Some things you work on over a course of time. When I was writing my book, I set my mind to know that I had to finish the book by a particular date. I pre-released it from October. I knew that the release date of the book was November. I knew that the editors needed to get it by this date in order for it to become public on Amazon and Barnes and Noble and everything else. And, you know, for me to start getting it in bookstores and get some printed copies out here to Jamaica. Everything that need, I knew what needed to be done. I researched. I found out what needed to be done. I wrote it down. I set a schedule and told myself, okay um for i realized that for a couple months for three months i was gonna be writing and i would get two or three hours sleep because that was my mission for that time to get this book out and i'm not sorry yes it was a lot of work and it took a lot of focus it took a lot of energy but guess what i had to be organized in order in order to be able to achieve that goal and look at the opportunities that it has brought me now right and still continues to bring me just that one project now think about that about how one book one record one movie one product created and delivered can totally just change your life because you took the time to sit down and organize it and work on what you said you need to work on and so that's simply it my friends um my dreamers my big achievers and dreamers that's why you're in the group because and if you're in the group you know it's because we're all a part of the mission to create wealth because the lord said he has given us power to get wealth and so we are going about the business of getting wealth so that we can further the kingdom of god right and what we have to understand is that these principles, though they look simple, being organized is one of the first priorities. Being organized is a part of planning, scheduling, taking action on the things that need to be done. You can't spend too much time on just writing the book alone. You need to create a book, a book, um, website you need to create a marketing strategy for your book you know you know you don't have the skills and expertise that you need schedule some time to talk to a business coach and don't tell me that you don't have any money to get to, to do what you need to do there's a lot of free resources online 
There's a lot of coaches and business consultants and authors and bookpreneurs and whatever who give complimentary sessions. Even me through my business, I give complimentary sessions through my business. But if you don't take advantage of them and make a point to get clear, get organized and do what you wrote down that you need to do, then you won't. And so being organized is just actually staying focused on the plan. Focus on the vision, focus on the dream or goal that you want to achieve, putting things in place in your physical environment to make sure that when you sit down to work on that particular task, you can work on it, right? I'm sure those of you who exercise or you go for a walk or whatever, you know that when your house is organized and clean, your mind is free to think about other things other than getting to, to clean it or to organize it, right? And so that's it just stay focused if you if you fail to plan your plan to fail and it's the same thing with organized if you don't get organized and stay organized you will only achieve a modicum of success and by modicum i mean only a small measure of success your success will reach a level and stop you will reach here when you can reach here you will only reach here because you're not organized right you need to reach here or the sky is the limit, infinity. You need to reach as high as you can reach as your God-given potential grants you the capacity and the ability to do. And so the key to doing that is to being organized and staying organized. And by staying organized, you put things where they belong. And if it's not a matter of putting something where it belongs, if it's a matter of taking action on something that you have written down on your schedule or your plan, then you take action on the thing. If you don't get it accomplished today, make sure, con schedule time tomorrow, schedule your week in advance, schedule your day in advance. You know you have to be out of town, schedule things as it relates to being in business. The same organizational principles that you apply in your personal life, in your home, do it. Um, if you're a work from home mom, you know, and you don't have anybody hired, right, to do what you do. Everybody is different. Some persons have a helper. If you even have a helper, you still have to organize yourself. So let the helper come in at a particular time and brief the helper on what you need to get done so that you can focus on the other areas of your life that you need to focus on, whether it's being going to your job, but working on your business, looking after your kids and your home and, you know, scheduling time that you need to spend with your husband or your wife, whatever it is, you need to focus on dinner. And one of the things that I have, one of the special tips that I have done in terms of being organized, I was like this from I was a teenager is putting on something that can go on while you're doing something else. Put some clothes in the washing machine, then go in the kitchen and start prepping the food for dinner. Leave the food for dinner soaking in the seasoning or whatever it's doing that it needs to, if you need to pre-prep it. Leave that. Come and um, sit down, work on the computer. If you work from home, sit down, work on the computer. Send out some emails, schedule some posts, okay? You know, it's time for the children soon to come home. Get up, sort out what you need to sort out for them. By the time you're doing all of that, the clothes are finished washing in the machine and you go, you put them on the line. Next thing, and keep moving on to the next. Create a website and set up your systems. You don't need to be on your website every day. Once you create it, you just set it. Set it and, um, and just let it do the work for yourself. Whenever somebody asks you to share the site, then you just share the site with them but you have already pre-done the work and so that's basically a part of getting organized set up systems to help you to manage your time to manage your activities and work with those systems if you're going to use workboard.com which is one of the channels that can help you to stay organized then plug the information into workboard get your autoresponder systems get your scheduling posting systems for your social media, um, for your gym time, set aside that time and stay organized. Whatever activities that you organize, stay in that mode and that zone. Until next time, with the next tip, take care. I'm Roseanne Reed, the Dream Inspirationalist. And you can find me at roseannereed.com. That's Roseanne Reed, R O S A N N E R E I D.com. Thank you for joining. Bye bye.